Hey guys, how's it going? Dad here with Iowa Budget RC. And today we are going to do a will it run on this old Hornet. And uh, everything's all there. Um, so I think if we put power to it, that it's going to work. Uh, this thing's actually in decent condition. The body mount's broken. I have another one of those, um, which the rear shock also mounts to. Um, but everything is there and it all seems to be in good shape. Even the old mechanical speed controller seems to be in pretty good shape. It's got a little greenness up here, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to hook a battery up to it and we're going to see if we can make this thing run. All right, guys. So we've got a uh, battery hooked up to it. This is a uh, 3,800 milliamp nickel metal hydride uh six cell pack and uh, this is a receiver for a BEC so shouldn't need to worry about uh, having a external battery pack to power that so um, I don't have a radio hooked up to it at this moment uh, I'm gonna have to find the I'm gonna have to take the mechanical speed control off and see where the uh, crystals add on this and uh, match it to one of the other Futabas that I've got. But uh, I think this thing will work, so let's give her a try. We've... Oh yeah, it does. Wow, it actually sounds really good too. You guys have never dealt with a uh, mechanical speed control. These are kind of a uh, two-step thing or three-step thing. Uh, these, this particular one is two-step, so right there in the center is off. There's speed one, and there's speed two. So it's proportional, sort of, but it does run. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so uh, I would like to, before I actually break this thing down and restore it, uh, I would like to, to run it a little bit and uh, have some fun with it out on the street and uh, not jump it or anything, but just do some laps on the street, back and forth, whatever. And so I think we're going to do that. And uh, I did uh, already fix, kind of fix the body. I super glued the, uh, and yeah, you can see it, but I super glued the uh, spoiler back onto the body. It ain't perfect, but it'll work and uh, hold it up there. And so, yeah, I'm going to find a uh, crystal and uh, match it up to uh, one of the radios and we're gonna make this thing work. So anyway, I'll bring you back. All right guys, so we got some genuine Tamiya parts here and uh, bought the whole tree for like nine bucks. So I'm gonna steal one of the body mounts out of it and I uh, got the old one removed, got the screw in my hand. I'm gonna put that on there and then we'll find a screw for the shock and uh, we'll get this baby put back together. All right, guys, got our shock mount fixed in the back. Uh, I've got a crystal in here that matches this particular radio. Uh, this is a uh, Magnum Sport pistol grip that I got off of eBay. Uh, came in the box, even had the manual, but there was no receiver. So uh, this works for that. And then, uh, in an effort to keep this thing just as it is as it came out of the box, I've got charge in the uh, Radio Shack battery pack. So we're gonna put this in there and see if we can uh, get her to go. All right, well, I've got the radio on. I even put a battery pack in here with four double A's and uh, we still got nothing. Uh, switches on and nothing 
So I'm thinking that this receiver is bad. Uh, let me double check and make sure everything's plugged in. That's all plugged in. That's plugged in. But with this probably 20, at least 20 year old battery, we do have power. All right, guys, check this out. Uh, same night, and uh, I was just jiggling some wires right after I said it'd be tomorrow. We now have steering. I'm gonna have to try and trim the throttle back a little bit. There we go. Trim it back, and now we're getting full stroke here. But it's alive with all the electronics it came with. That is awesome. So, uh, yeah, uh, it will now be tomorrow and uh, uh, for me and today for you. And I will do a run video of this thing. And uh, we do plan to do a full restoration to this and tear everything down, clean it up. Uh, there's a lot of play in the front end and uh, the, the bushings and replace the tires because these are all old and dry. They're not, they're not uh, flat spotted, but they are definitely hard and dry. So these aren't gonna last very long, giving it a run on the, the street, run or two on the street. But how cool is that, that all the original electronics that it came with, the battery pack, the, uh, actually this is a battery pack that Will Thompson gave me, um, but uh, yeah, the receiver, the speed control, the servos, the Radio Shack inner cell battery, all of that, and everything works. And it sounds really good. Um, of course, when we tear it apart, I've got a set of uh, Jim's bearings here for the Hornet that uh, we'll put in there, but that's, like I say, going to be a winter project. But since uh, it's still decent out, I want to run this thing uh, before I tear into it and before we build the Clod Buster because Clod Buster will be, uh, we can run that in the snow and stuff in the winter. We're not going to be able to run this in the winter. so. It's going to be a buggy restoration kind of winter. So anyway, I'll bring you back and we will be out running it. All right, guys, here we go. We've got the Radio Shack Intercell battery pack that this thing came with. So I'm going to put the uh, 3D printed battery cover on it that I bought and I'm going to take it out for a run. All right, guys, got Grace not here with me. Cause I got to have a witness to running this thing so I'm gonna hand the camera off to him and uh, we're gonna take this thing out and uh, see what it does all right yeah. well steering is reversed for some reason let's see if there's a steering reverse pause it Gray. All right, so it was backwards. So I just had to turn the steering to normal instead of reverse. Throttle's on normal, so we're ready to go. All right, let's give her a rip.
All right, so now Grayson's at the helm. 1987. At its finest. This was top of the line stuff from Tamiya back in 1987, Gray. See why they call them grasshoppers? Because they hop around. This is a hornet, but same thing. Pretty much. Alright, 1987 Tamiya Hornet. All original electronics and it works. And yeah, it's a little fidgety because the controls next to it I will move it out of the way. Wire. But, <laughs> what'd you think of this thing, Grayson? It's pretty fast. Yeah? And, for... and I have some pretty good drift skills with it. <laughs> well, the plan is to. Uh, restore this back to its former glory but in this uh i'm gonna get an original style decal kit with all the original sponsors and stuff and uh whatever but uh and this will kind of be our runner body because it's beat up and uh uh you know the the new body will be in good condition but uh, i've got bearings for it i've got uh, uh we'll have to order new tires i've got a new set of wheels uh that are perfectly white still and uh, whatever so kind of cool that the uh, old electronics still work in this thing isn't it Grayson? Yeah especially the battery. Yeah the, the battery really surprises me like that is 100% the uh, let's see if I can get this off of here I can't do it without taking the body shell off I don't want to crack the, the wing but uh, this is 100% a 20 year old Radio Shack uh, iCAD battery charging session and it came back to life so anyway our next video uh, I'll explain here in the outro but uh, we finally hit 500 subscribers and we have all of you to thank for it so thank you I'll uh, put an outro of this video and uh, we truly appreciate it so anyway all right guys I'm just gonna conclude the video here and give a huge thank you to everyone we finally hit 500 subscribers, so the next video will be about our 500 subscriber giveaway. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. We've got a very active audience, and without you guys, I couldn't have done it. So we're going to give away this buggy. So thanks again to each and every one of you, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'm Pat. I'm Grayson. For Iowa Budget RC.